Hello, my name is Abdullah Rida. I'm a student in secondary 2. I'm Egyptian. And today we'll start to explain our subject of math for this year. And uh, as we all know that our subject this year is divided into two sections. The first section contains differential calculus and trigonometry. And the other section contains algebra. And today we'll start with differential calculus with our first lesson that talks about limits and of course the first thing we must know is the meaning of limit so we will have this example if you have a number line like this and we have here a certain point let's say that is number one and it's called a. When we go in the negative direction of the x-axis here on the number line that we have, of course the value will decrease so that we go to 0, then negative 1, negative 2, and so on. And when we go on the right direction of the number line, the value will increase gradually so that we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on so if we have a variable which is called x and it's found here on the left side of the number line on the left side of a and its value is approaching to a so that it's increasing gradually so it's negative 2 then negative 1 then 0 to reach the nearest point here to a but it's not actually equal to a on the other hand if we have x here and it's approaching also to a on the right side here of the number line so its value is decreasing gradually to it reaches to the nearest point to a but it's not actually equal to a so this is the meaning of the limit when we have a function for example fx and we want to know the value of this function we have x approaches a certain value for example a so when x approaches this value fx approaches another value so let's say that if x equals x plus 1 and here x approaches 3 so when x approaches 3 we substitute here with a 3 then if x approaches 3 plus 1 equals 4 so if x here approaches 4 when x approaches 3 or tenths to 3 then x approaches 4 and this is the meaning of the limit and we write it in this way we write the word lim as an abbreviation for limit then x approaches a x approaches the value given in the example or the problem and we write here fx this is the shape of the limit let's have an example to show the limit here and its solution if we have lim x approaches 1 2x plus 3 we said that x is not actually equal to a but its value approaches a so x will equal a or will equal the one found here when there is no difference between the two points x and a on the number line that we uh, have drawn before so we can write x approaches a in this way x here is not equal to a because there is 
a value that separates it from 1 and x will equal 1 of course when h equals 0 so instead of substituting with x equal 1 here in the equation we can substitute with x plus h so we write the limit in this way 2x plus h plus 3 equals lim x approaches 1 and we substitute here with x equal 1 and h equals 0 to get 2 plus 3 equals 5 so we can either solve the limit by substituting directly with the value of x found here or by substituting with x plus h and then substituting with h equals 0 and x with the value found here in the limit. We have an, here another example. Then x approaches 2, 2x two power 2, negative 4x over x negative 2. So, as we said before, we will substitute with x equals 2, then x approaches 2, here we get 2 multiplied by 4, negative 4 multiplied by 2, over 2, negative 2, to get finally 0, over 0, and of course this value is undefined and this solution is not correct because we can solve this problem in another way and the result here will be different and we will see so that the denominator here is factorizable we can factorize it and then see what changes will happen to this function and then substitute finally when there's nothing factorizable found here in the function in order to get the result so that we will factorize here this denominator so that the numerator here we will factorize the 2x outside and here we get x negative 2 and here in the denominator x negative 2 of course we know that this bracket goes with this one like this and we get then x approaches to 2, 2x of course the result here is defined so that we have here at last then x approaches 2 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4 and this result is different from the first one so we get a rule here explaining this case so that if we have then x approaches a and here we have fx and fx equals any value for example a over 0 so that the result is undefined we factorize a till it reaches the last and the most possible way of factorization and then substitute with x approaches a and we can say it in another way so that if fx equals a for example multiplied by b 
over B. This is the most possible shape of the equation which equals A over 0 or K over 0 because in most cases we have here P, the denominator, is a factor of the numerator as we find that fx in the last example we got 2x over x minus 2 over x minus 2 so that the denominator here is a factor of the numerator so this is the shape of most uh, of the problems in this case so if we substitute with x equal a and found that the result here in the denominator equals 0 then we realize that the denominator is a factor of the numerator and then factorize the numerator to let the denominator go with the numerator to easily find the answer and uh, I think this is enough for today and see you tomorrow in order to complete explaining our first lesson in differential calculus and see you next time.